Okay, I have a 2008 Chevy Silverado 3500, but I believe this is the same for 1999 to 2013. You know, similar circuit board. It looks the same to me as what was on my 2004 that I had. And I had no tail lights. I had brake lights, I had turn signals, and I had reverse lights. But I believe that any of those issues, if you have, you know, no turn signals or no brake lights or no backup lights or, like me, no tail lights, that you could look at this board here. And what I found was over here, and it's the blue connector. You can see it labeled there, blue. And you can see the pins, but that one pin there on the end is all corroded out. So I pulled the connectors off first, and I looked at the connectors, and I could see the corrosion inside there, and that the pin, you know, was totally corroded solid. And that was where that pin had corroded out. And it could happen to any one of these pins on this circuit board. That those pins could corrode out, and that could cause your problem. Well, what I did is I had replaced my tail lights, so I had an extra wiring harness, and I used, pulled the pin out of the wiring harness, my extra, you know, for the tail lights, and I crimped it in on the connector, and then I, you know, cleaned out all the corrosion out of the blue connector, and I inserted that pin in there, and I replaced this board also. And all of a sudden, I had tail lights again. It was very nice to drive safely to work in the morning and not be risking my life or other people's with no tail lights. <laughs> so hopefully this helps somebody out. And there's always videos out there of somebody to help show you how to, you know, insert a pin or insert one of the pins into the Chevy connectors. So hopefully this helps somebody out.